Hey everybody, we're now on pin four and we're checking out three barrows now. Two of these are Littermade Brothers, the Herefords. Their pedigree is trucking on Family Guy, born August the 10th. And these guys are extremely unique in their makeup. They are wide made at the grounds, yet really clean and cool fronted with that show ring look that we're needing to get up in those top spots today. As you watch this guy goes, he has a big old forearm in him, really level made down that top, good muscle shape, big old stout hip laid in him as well. One that you take home and he just needs some TLC to just get up and grow and go. I think he's one that come, you know, we get into January, February, that can be a lot of fun to be out there with. Amy, I love his length of body and his length of neck and the squareness he comes out of his blade. And that guy's hip and on leg is exceptional. Great collar pattern on that one there as well. So let's go here to uh, the brother, if I can get him to pull. This one right here is, is that 19-3? Three. Three. So we get 19-3, a brother to that first one we were looking at. This guy is also, if you study him, really clean up through that front end. Really good in terms of that natural width at the ground. And he works it up to that upper side of the skeleton. Really good in terms of muscle shape as well. He's on the greener side today, no doubt. But those are the ones that you can really take home and push those feed buckets to and let him go. Um, you know, just keep watching him and, and, and just kind of slow grow those guys right up onto that show. One I really like from a design standpoint, too. He may be a notch taller shoulder than his brother, too, Amy. Yep. Okay? But it's both extremely stylish. I'll see if I can pull the Hampshire bear here. There we go. Hampshire time. This Hampshire barrow is 37-5. He is out of the Ooh. answer. Back on a world-class south. This guy, I love how he's designed and put together. His front two-thirds, I think, is just awesome. Big old square chest floor, he'll pull for us. Um, really square top, really true in terms of that shape over that loin, very square down that top lane as well. You get behind him, he's still square hipped, big bones. He can get out and move extremely well too when he when he's not kind be of being a silly. Here, yeah, he's not wanting to go, which surprises me. Normally you get in here and he just like he, he, attacks you and chases you in here. But one that I really like, if you're looking for a good breed bear to hit some of these shows um, that are out there, um, I think he's one that'll be a lot of fun to have on feed. Amy, I want to say, and he's not showing very well, I'm going to try to bring him towards you. Can, you can just see world class, right, in his skull and his neck and the way his chine bones laid into his blade. And uh, I, I think that one there reads, reads big time. I, I like this guy a lot. I think he's one that will be a whole lot of fun to feed. Super feet and legs on that one. 